Lighting artwork brings the art to life. It is the part that gives painting structure, depth, and brightness. This overall helps subconsciously enhance the viewer's moods. A general rule of thumb is that your light should hit the art at around a 30 degree angle. If you would like to add more highlights, around 25 degrees, and larger frames could go up to 35 degrees. This rule is particularly important for paintings that are framed with glass in order to reduce the glare. For fixed ceiling accent lights, you can usually visually tell where the light should go so that it hits the painting at that angle. For track lights, you can adjust them based on where you put your painting. Two other lighting techniques that everyone should be aware of are wall washing and grazing. These are very similar techniques. They both involve having the entire surface lit up, eliminating shadows and imperfections. Wall washing is produced when the lights are placed further from the wall, so around 2.5 feet or more than that, and this is recommended for walls or smooth surfaces. On the other hand, wall grazing is when the lights are super close to the painting or the wall, which produces a more dramatic effect. Wall grazing, however, is not recommended for smoother walls or smoother paintings, since their imperfections will be exaggerated. It is also worth mentioning the types of lamps. LED bulbs are more expensive, but they use less UV rays and less energy, which preserves the paintings for longer. On the other hand, halogen lights tend to damage paintings more because they produce more harmful rays. Now let's get into the tones of the lights. Lamps can be warmer or cooler depending on the kelvins. So let's start with warm lights. A lower range between 2000 and 3200 is usually the range for warmer lights. It is recommended to not go below 2500. The lower the kelvins, the warmer the painting looks, and the more enhanced and softer the warm tones of the painting will be. However, this could tone out the cooler paintings and may even cause the blues to look a bit green. Warmer lights are usually used in living rooms and cozier spaces as they give the subconscious feeling of warmth and comfort. Now we can get into the cooler white lights. Cooler lights between 3300 and 4500 Kelvin are whiter and less warm. These lights are not blue, but the lack of warmth makes them appear a bit blue. On the higher end near the 4000s, warmer paintings might seem a bit dull using this. It will really tone down warmer paintings to use bluer lights. And now we get into cooler or blue lights. So this is around 4300 to 5000 Kelvin. These are considered more neutrally white or even blue lights. Based on statistics, men seem to like these more than women do. It makes blue paintings look much crisper. This is useful for garages, offices, and bathrooms. It gives a more modern look and can make cooler paintings look even better. Finally, let's get into the forms of lighting. So I've briefly mentioned the ceiling accent lights and track lights, but there are many more different types of lights that you can use. I'll go through the most common and efficient, and I'll also give a little pros and cons list to help you select which type of light you should use. So firstly, accent lights. The good thing is that they allow you to control the direction which the light shines at the painting, and they also ensure that the light illuminates pretty much the entire painting. However, they give you less flexibility since they're installed into the ceiling. So the next is track lights. A good thing is that they're really easy to install and you get full control of the direction which the light shines. However, they're visible, so they're not as nicely installed as the accent lights. Now picture lights have a bit of lower watts and they're installed directly on top of the painting. They provide some sort of intimacy with the painting and they're very inviting. However, they require outlets and cords. It might be a bit difficult to install them. Lastly is natural sunlight. So this is difficult to manage, you can't control the sun, and it should also be avoided as the harmful rays like UV and infrared coming from the sun may cause the painting to fade faster. However, sculptures are not subject to being damaged by natural light. They should generally be well lit from all angles, so natural sunlight is not a bad option for them. However, they can also be lit by LEDs, halogen lights, or even infrared lights. This beautiful sculpture that I used for display is available on the Artero website, so be sure to check that out. And for more tips, blog posts, and a future space for interior designers to talk about all sorts of art, feel free to check out our website. We also have unique artists telling their stories and selling their art all over the Artero website. Thank you for watching the second step of your art selection process, and be sure to stay tuned for how to hang artwork. So this was Mena from Artera, and I hope to see you soon.